You know, I think that <clears throat> I want to make a point about something. I think we all want people to see things a certain way. I know I do. I'm not going to lie about that. You know, I may like something. Let's say a certain restaurant I might go to. And I want people to like that restaurant because I enjoy it. You know, I have a wonderful experience there. The service is great. The food is great. That's my opinion about it. But, you know, other people might come. You know, I may bring somebody there, invite them to have dinner with me at this wonderful restaurant. And they may not like the food. They may not like the food. They may not like the service. They may not like the atmosphere. And, you know, when I'm friends with someone, I have to accept that everybody's different. We all don't have the same taste. But they're still my friends. They're still my friend. You know, I think about my best friend, you know. And she's a person who has her own way of doing things. Her own way of looking at the world. Her way of dealing with things, dealing with problems and whatnot. Ways in which I wouldn't do all the time, you know. Sometimes we share a lot of things we agree with, we agree on. But sometimes we see things very differently. But we're still friends. And I think that's a wonderful thing that we can still be friends even though we don't see eye to eye on things. We don't try to push each other. She doesn't try to force me to see the world her way and I don't try to force her to see the world my way. I think those are the best relationships. And I feel that way with, you know, the people who subscribe to me, the people who watch my videos, I feel like they're my friends. We don't all see the world the same way. There's no, there's no way in the world any two people see the world exactly the same. I think each one of us, our view of the world, the way in which each and every one of us sees the world, is as unique as a fingerprint. I think that's true. And I think that what William James said is true. We live in a multiverse. Basically, each one of us are like an individual universe to ourselves, so to speak. The way in which we look at the world. The way in which we put things together. Because the world isn't just what our senses tell us. What the world is, is also the way we interpret the world. And each one of us have had our own personal, unique experiences of things. So that's going to affect how we're going to interpret things. You know, I may see something and think that it's very beautiful. And somebody else may think it's disgusting. You know, for some people, watching the birth of a child is disgusting. Yeah, that's nasty and disgusting. Others think it's beautiful. And it's a matter of how we interpret things. Is it disgusting? Is it beautiful? It's a matter of interpretation. Some people think that there's a God. And I think that's a matter of interpretation. It's not an empirical thing. It's a matter of interpretation. Some people think the universe was designed by a designer. And others think that everything evolved. I think that's matters of interpretation. You know, I welcome comments, criticisms, of different views on what I have to say. And it's nice to hear other people's view on it. You know, I listen to the creationist. And I listen to the evolutionist. I tend to side with the evolutionist in that I believe that life evolved. Things have evolved. Our whole universe is constantly in a process of evolving. But you know, I don't ridicule creationists. That's one thing I don't believe in. I don't believe in ridiculing people. If somebody has a different view, they just have a different view. I don't think it should be taught as science because it's not science. But that's just my own opinion on it. I do believe in God. But, you know, that's my view. That's the way I see it. Am I right? Maybe. Am I wrong? Maybe. I don't know. But it's just the way I see things. But I want, I want to say this. That I like being friends with people. And I, the best friends are the ones who can listen to me. 
disagree with me and still at the end of the day we're still friends that's what matters that's friendship and we can respect each other treat each other with dignity and respect and we can do that and I believe that's possible I believe that people can have completely different worldviews and still be friends maybe maybe of all seven billion people on this earth maybe I'm the only one who thinks that but I don't think so. I think other people share that view too.